And don't forget to make sure you put your duckies back in a safe location. There you go, dude. What is going on guys welcome back to the channel tonight we are in the shop again working on my wife's 2021 Jeep JLU we will be putting on a EVC throttle controller um, so after I put the larger tires on this I did notice there was a little bit of lag in the throttle response so Everybody online said to run one of these, so that's what we're going to try. And while we've got it in the shop, we're also going to be putting on the Red Rock dash-mounted phone holder with storage compartment. This little thing right here. So let's get started on that. So before we get started on the inside of the Jeep, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unbox this dude right here and see what we got. piece of foam. Looks pretty straightforward there. Sick! It comes with zip ties. Awesome. So I've got everything laid out here. I've got the plug-in for the throttle. And then I've got the module here. Uh, looking at the directions, they they look pretty straightforward, but it does say before you get started to let the vehicle power down 10 minutes before you get started. That way you know that all the electron electronics have powered down. Because it says if you don't, you could get a engine fault code. The first thing that we're going to do is look for the factory plug on top of the throttle assembly I'm gonna try to get the GoPro in there where y'all can see all right so you got your gas pedal right here and I'm tilting the GoPro up and I'm gonna reach in so this purple piece pulls out towards the rear of the vehicle which releases the factory wiring harness so now I'm going to take the new wiring harness and plug in its place. Make sure it seats correctly. It's clipped on good. Now I'll be taking this wiring harness here. And there you go. All right, and I will be zip tying this up, but I'll do that at the last step. The next step is to plug in the wiring harness for the control module and it just clicks right in just like that i'm going to be hiding these wires behind the carpet here but i'll probably put i'll probably put this somewhere like right here or something i don't want it like shining like right in my wife's face or anything while she's driving all right so i got the module on the console here out of the way got all the wires tucked up so the next thing that we'll do the directions call for is the transmission setup so i'm just going to go right along the instructions here so the first thing it says do is start the vehicle Make sure the vehicle is in neutral or park, automatic transmission, and that the park brake is on. Okay. Set the parking brake. And start the vehicle. Alright. The vehicle is started. Alright. 
press and hold the mode button B for three seconds to enter the transmission setup mode. Okay. So go down here. This is the B button. So let's see. Focus. All right, so hold this for three seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. All right, it says for automatic transmissions, the display must be set to 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, so let's see. 8-8, eight, eight. once the desired setting is chosen, exit the transmission setup mode by pressing the B button once. Boom. All right. Let's see, now we have the mode. So we got ultimate, economy, an automatic uh, let's go to automatic so let's see it says the all right so now we put it in AC and that's set all right so I got that set up. I got it on automatic for right now. And so what's cool about this is you can put it on like ultimate mode and just like rip it around. But for right now, I'm just going to put it on automatic. And I'll be, I'll be doing another video that kind of like an update, the differences and everything like that, that I can tell. So let's start on the cell phone holder. So it looks like for the first thing that you do for the dash mounted phone holder is you first you have to remove all ducts. It's pretty cool. All right, so got the ducts out of the way and we're gonna be taking this, this rubber piece out. All right. And then the next thing that we're gonna do is there should be a Phillips head screw right there. Gonna take that dude out. Whoops. There should be another one right here. Alright. Alright, so starting on putting the cell phone holder in probably don't want to go too terribly tight so the next thing is I'll be putting the post cover on looks like it just clips down All right, so you got the cover on the next thing is take the cell phone mount and first you want to put this over the ball and then put this over it. You gotta kind of push it on there. And then tighten those threads. So I've got the cell phone mount up there it's pretty tight I've got it loose that way when she puts her phone up there she's got some adjustment of where she actually wants it so the next thing that we're gonna do is drop this in place
so it is installed and it is actually pretty cool you can sit here and watch your favorite youtubers not while driving down the road but I, I'm pretty impressed with it and don't forget to make sure you put your duckies back in a safe location there you go dude Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really appreciate y'all watching me put in the throttle controller and the cell phone mount on the 2021 Jeep JLU. If you would like to see anything else that I've done to this Jeep, please check out my channel and make sure that you like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.